Hi, this is Sayan Shapri from Fractions Hub. We are discussing IOQM 2022 solutions. We are going to start with problem one. Now, let's look at the question. Three parallel lines, L1, L2, L3 are drawn in the plane such that the perpendicular distance between L1, L2 and is three. And the perpendicular distance between L2 and L3 is also three. A square ABCD is constructed such that a lies on L1, the first line, B lies on L3, and C lies on L2. Now, let's find, uh, we have to find the area of the square. Now, first thing we are going to do is construct the, draw the lines, and then construct the square. Let's do that. L1 L2 and L3. Now L1 is A will be on L1. Let's say here this is point A. and B will be on L3. So let's say here, now it is a square, so obviously it will be 90 degrees. So this will be C, which is supposed to be placed on L2. Now we will complete the square. And this will be point D. Now, we are doing, going to do some constructions. That is, we are going to drop a perpendicular from A to L3. Let's call this point P. And uh, another one from point C, we call it Q. Now, this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, and so is this one. Say this angle, is theta the angle B sorry C B Q plus to theta. Then from triangle B Q C it is evident that this angle will be 90 degree minus theta. That is angle B C Q plus to 90 degree minus theta. That is because the angle B Q C is a 90 degree angle, right angle. And similarly, now look at the straight line PBQ. So this angle is theta, angle CBQ, and angle ABC is 90 degree, of course, because it is a square. So angle ABP, this should be what? 180 degree minus 90 degree minus theta. That is nothing 90 degree minus theta. And because the angle APB is 90 degree, PAB should be what? 90 degree minus 90 degree minus theta. Let's write it down. And that is nothing but theta. Now, look at the triangles. APB and BCQ. We have already shown that angle PAB equals to angle CBQ. Now, and we have also shown that angle ABP equals, this is equals to theta, of course, and angle ABP equals to angle BCQ, that is 90 degree minus theta. And we know ABCD is square, so AB equals to BC. 
so we can say that these two triangles are congruent by asa congruency now look at uh, we already it's given in the question that the distance between consecutive parallel lines is 3 and this is 3 as well now we have to find the area of the square so what is the area of the square area of the square square is square of any particular side let's say ab now so we have to find ab square now look that ab is a right angle triangle so ab square by pythagoras theorem is ap square plus pb square now we need to find ap square ap square is what is ap ap is distance between the line l1 and l3 this is perpendicular so this is exactly perpendicular distance so this must be 3 plus 3 whole square now we need to find pb and now as we have already proved these triangles apb and pcq are congruent so PB equals to CQ. And what is CQ? CQ is nothing but the perpendicular distance because CQ is perpendicular on L3. So perpendicular distance between L2 and L3, that is what? Three. So PB is three, three square. This is equals to six square plus nine square. That is 36, sorry, three square plus nine. That is 36 plus nine goes to 45. And that is exactly our answer. Therefore, area of square ABCD is 45 units. And now we have solved question number one. Thank you.